Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another tremendous Tuesday real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Last night, the SPY, S&P, the whole markets, beautiful bounce. Let's dive right in and take a look how this played out. So SPY, when we gapped down, we gapped it down. It was a it was a black candle gapping down, right? It was a retest gap. We opened exactly at the 10 EMA on the daily. Uh, I actually caught this pretty early in the piece. Um, as soon as I seen this particular, oh, it was on the three minute. Sorry, this particular candle come in. Huge volume, huge volume here coming in right at the open. Oops. Huge volume coming here right in the open. Uh, and we just had this cute little bullish flag pattern happen right here. So I personally didn't play this on the SPY, but I'll take a look at the ES E minis futures. This is exactly how I played it. So take a look at the three minute. Okay, so pre mark here was the pre market, here was the pre market fairly sideways, right? And here, right here, was where we had the bounce off the 10 EMA on the SPY. We broke above the pre-market levels right here, okay? And all I did was have an order set up at these pre-market levels right here with a stop below, below of that day, okay? And as we started to form this little bullish flag, I was like, this thing's starting to go higher. We've got a lot of volume coming in. This is going to be one of those fades that you wish you never missed. And I'm so happy that I did not miss this. Um, as soon as we, as soon as this, this started to break out of this little, this little flag here, I actually increased my position, added to my position by three. So I tripled my position size right here, increased my stop from here, to here okay and let this thing run now i did take profits a little bit too early if we take a look at the five minute here yeah i did leave quite a bit on the table however this was one o'clock in the morning for me and i still did end up profiting for a three a nice three r gain um on the three minute you'll see it was it was a bit of a rookie a bit of a rookie error as soon as we broke above these highs um, and started pulling back a little bit if i waited probably a couple more minutes maybe five minutes i would have moved my stop to here um, except i moved a little bit too early and as you can see the high of this candle was 2975 which was where i had my stop and the low of this candle was 2975. So hitting me exactly to the penny for a 3R gain, but all in all, beautiful trade, only in the trade for about an hour. Nice 3R gain, and it was looking absolutely glorious. ES, uh, probably on the daily, most likely going to just trade sideways for maybe two or three, two or three more days. This is a glorious uh, high wave candle here. Um, on the daily, and if you take a look at the uh, if you take a look at the lower time frames here, we've got the the 10 EMA right here. So most likely, we will just chop around here for a little bit, probably a couple of days, and then most likely go higher. So ES markets looking higher. We've been speaking about this for a while. Here's the Dow Jones. Dow Jones. Now, on this day back here, I did say that most likely we will have a pullback. And if you just, if I zoom in a little bit right here, you'll notice, okay, we had a perfect tweezer top pattern, 27,009 points exactly to the penny, beautiful reversal pattern. Here is the nice little pullback and here we're straight back into the 10 EMA and just keep looking to buy the dip. Here's the Russell and Last week, I mentioned that most likely we will pull back into the moving averages, the long-term moving averages, which we did, and then look to buy the dip. So RTY or the Russell look to 
go higher. Here's the Qs and the NASDAQ. Um, glorious little bounce, almost coming down to the 20 right here. It has happened a few times in the past. And um, from here, guys, most likely trade sideways for the next two or three days <clears throat> and then look to go higher. Here's IQ. Uh, now, I spoke about this last week on this day here saying that I will be definitely be looking to buy the dip on this one after this glorious little move. It was a pretty big move. As you can see, we did come up 20%, right? Now, if you're wondering how I came up with the entry of 1949 right here, not really any support resistance levels. However, perfect entry because it is actually the 618 retracement um, level on the Fibonacci. So that's how I came up with my entry on IQ. Got into a long-term position on both shares and on long-term call options. So IQ looking to look to buy the dip. That was a really nice pullback. After the 20% move, we did pull back, you know, a nice 12% and obviously got in at a fairly good price. Here is the gap of the day. SQ. Now, last week, uh, I did say that if we start to break this level above the $74, roughly, it is going to be a quick move and we will go to $80. Um, now, what's important to know is it was a gap and go and this did gap and go. Put this, print this out, stick it on your wall. This is an absolutely amazing gap and go. We had a bearish um, little bearish candle yesterday and we gapped the high of yesterday's candle was 74 on the nose and the open of today was 7403. So we actually gapped up above the high of yesterday and came down for a cute little retest. Uh, you can only really see it on the one minute chart. If I zoom right in here, uh, we zoom right in here. There was a little tiny little bit of selling um, right there. And obviously this thing just trapped all the bears that were thinking this was a nice double top. A lot of people thinking this was going to, you know, double top and probably roll over. Guys, this is Square. Amazing company. Definitely not going to be going to zero. So a lot of people trapped here. Squeezed a lot of uh, squeeze a lot of the shorts out and just absolutely crushed higher. I didn't personally take the day trade as I'm in on long term call options on Square since back here. Um, sorry, back here, and so Square. A lot of real life traders profitable on Square today, and a lot of happy people. Here's MU. Now MU had a amazing, amazing run the last couple of weeks. Um, Realistically, we've been speaking about this since this day here, just before earnings. If you take a look at the weekly chart and the long-term moving averages, okay, we were almost at the 200 on the daily, right? Now, this was this what this is a really nice double bottom, and we are coming into the 100 simple moving average as a resistance, and most likely we will pause there for a little while, um, but on the daily. We are above both the long term 100 and 200 simple moving averages. So, most likely, if we do start to break out of this range, um, if we do come up, uh, just look to buy the dip and then take MU higher. So, MU looking absolutely amazing right now. A lot of people profitable and a lot of people buying this glorious dip right here. So, well done to all of you. Here's Netflix running into a little bit of resistance once again um, and having a little bit of a sell-off, but oops, but uh, this was also a gap and go that did <laughs> that did gap and go beautifully. If you take a look at the five minute, here's the here's the big bullish run up that we had earlier in the day. And as we came up to this resistance level at 382, we kind of just came up, retested and broke down a little bit. But this is not going to be the top guys on Netflix. Earnings is just around the corner, as you can see right here. If we do get a gap up, um, it is going to be a bullish gap. 
most likely we will um, most likely we will come back to retest this at some point. If we gap down, however, it is going to be a Bible event. So keep your eyes on Netflix over the next couple of weeks as we come into earnings. But Netflix looking absolutely amazing as, along with all the markets. Amazon, beautiful, beautiful trade. I, I need to give a shout out to John D for getting 20R on his call options that he held overnight. So well done, John D. Mate, absolutely amazing trade. If you take a look at the five minute, once again, okay, oh, sorry, on the daily, once again, this was a resistance level right here. Um, a lot of people thinking that this was probably gonna roll back down to the 100 simple moving average. And if you just take a look on the five minute, right at the end of the day, okay, we did get some volume coming in and there were some people starting to selling. Both, both people taking profits and the short sellers coming in. However, if you take a look right here at this volume um, and these bullish candles right here, that was the place to go long and a lot of people uh, taking advantage of that this morning. So well done to all of you who did get to profit on Amazon and John D, mate, absolutely incredible trade. Well done on your 20 hours, mate. That's absolutely amazing. Here's Twitter, ticket symbol TWTR. Got a lot of coaching clients in this one right now. Um, as we came down to the 100 simple moving average on the daily, I did say this was going to happen after we did have a, um, you know, a fairly decent run up, maybe around 18% after earnings. This was a gap and go. Right. However, we, we did need to come back and fill this gap. And ironically, we just came straight back to this resistance right here, 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 and here, and here. And yeah, so pretty much straight back to resistance, glorious bounce, and um, a lot of people very excited about this beautiful candle with amazing volume that we got today so well done to all my coaching clients that um got in long on twitter and yeah let's take a look at the aussie markets here's the all lords now if we take a look at the short-term moving averages we came straight back to the 10 um i have been saying guys be long on the markets i am hoping that this does create new all-time highs by the end of the week probably not going to happen um just because I think we're most likely going to trade sideways for a, a few days, maybe, maybe like that for, yeah, probably about three to four days, probably most likely next week we'll start to create some new all time highs, but I am absolutely excited. Uh, cannot wait to see what comes out in the news. And um, yeah, guys, I'm just super excited. You see, you, you can probably tell um, about this market, but here's West farmers. And here's my analysis that we spoke about in my last review. So I'll just hide these drawings. Um, so this was the double bottom that we did create. And then after we had this bullish, after we had this bullish candle on that day, I did say, look to buy the dip at this neckline right there. And Mr. Squiggles putting in some work coming straight down to the neckline, bouncing. So if any of you got to buy this dip to go long on West Farmers, well done. Um, I hope you guys are absolutely crushing it. Here's JB Hi-Fi. Once again, we spoke about this last week, saying this was a bullish trend and just look to buy and stay long. Uh, this was a beautiful buy the dip opportunity and it was the nice double bottom with the retest. So well done to all of you who are in JB Hi-Fi. Here's APT Afterpay. Um, I've been speaking about this one for a while, guys. Uh, if you take a look at the long-term moving averages, we have bounced off the 100 simple moving average again. Um, and I did say that most likely we are just going to consolidate sideways here for a little while. Um, most likely we will get something of this juncture right here. So. If you're not in right now, just you will have a little bit of time to get in. Most likely off the 100 simple moving average, that would be a great, a great time to, to buy and go long. 
but yeah, APT looking really, really great. Most likely will come back down and just look to buy the dip. So APT, uh, keep your eyes peeled for a great trade on APT. Here's Commonwealth Bank CBA. Um, so I mentioned back here that most likely we will have a little bit of a sell-off and then chop around here at this price. So here's the small little sell-off that we had and we are probably going to consolidate here for a little bit. So CBA, look to buy low, sell high here, guys, um, or, or sell some premium if, we, if you can sell some up above 84 for some covered calls. But great trade on CBA for those of you who bought back down here. Um, so yeah, here's RES. Now, RES, very, very important. Um, I spoke about this probably last, last month sometime. I was, I actually came, I had someone come to me saying that they had a stock pick for me and it was RES. Um, I won't go into that story. However, they told me that this was a great buy right here. And I said, it's a pump and dump. Um, do not buy this stock unless you want to risk losing your money. Um, there was a bit of news. Uh, there was a bit of news about this, uh, them buy, uh, buying a mining company overseas and, you know, yada, yada, having a bit more work, creating a really nice buying opportunity. And, uh, you know, they had, they had some really good prospects. Um, However, I think that that news was just based on a lot of people that were buying down here and trying to hype up the price and that's exactly what did happen. So I hope that a lot of you did listen when the stock was at 22 cents um, because right now we're sitting at 12 cents and I'm hoping that a lot of you did take um, that, that information that I said on RES and stayed well away from that because you would have been down 50% on your investment. So um, RES, just probably stay away from it. Penny stocks. I don't really, I don't, I don't think you can't make money on penny stocks. I just personally don't trade them. Um, but that's all I have to about, all I have to say about that. Um, PLS now I spoke about this, um, for a gentleman a couple of weeks ago back here. And I said that most likely we need to have a close above this price right here, which we did not get if we wanted to um, go bullish. So because we had a fairly bearish close, I do expect PLS to come back down to these lows uh, back here. So PLS is coming up to a nice buying opportunity if you're not already in, um, but obviously, yeah, not the right time to be selling. PLS having a little bit of a pullback. Here's BHP and take a look at the daily, oh, sorry, the weekly chart. Um, I did I did say last week here that most likely there will be a little bit of selling. Just look to buy the dip on the daily um, at, around 40, at around $40. This was a retest gap and we are currently retesting and fading. So most likely, um, if you're not in already, I do expect this to come down a little bit lower uh, and then obviously look to buy the dip at around $40 on BHP. Um, oops. So BHP looking great. For all my Forex traders out there, I hope you took advantage of this amazing setup on the Aussie dollar I posted last week. Uh, here is the setup. This was a bearish high wave candle uh, right at the 100 simple moving average. If I just zoom into the, uh, I'll zoom into the 15 minute and this is exactly how I played it. So as you can see, okay, as you can see, we have this nice level of support right here and we did start to create these lower highs. This, this descending wedge right here, uh, as soon as this broke down, if you take a look at the volume of these two particular can this candle right here, uh, once that broke down, uh, once that broke down right here, it pretty much just fell off a cliff. So um, I still am currently in on this trade. I'll just show you how I have played that. So 
we did because we did have quite an aggressive sell-off i did expect the retest to occur so we did get this retest and as that came in move my stop to here and um this is obviously the wave three and i'm just following i'm just trailing my stop nicely here guys but currently up just over two just over two r on this one two and a half r so aud usd looking to go a little bit lower as we've been speaking about for a while. Um, I will try to hold on, hold on as long as possible, but if I can hold back down to these lows, that would be absolutely amazing. Here's GBP AUD uh, bouncing off this trend line, which we spoke about on my last review. Um, I did say, however, most likely, I think this will break this trend line as we are seeing a little bit of resistance come here and back at these levels here. Um, so most likely, uh, oops, sorry. Most likely uh, this will be a short little bounce as I did expect. If it does come up to the 200, just look for a little bit of resistance and then take this thing a little bit lower. So GBP, uh, look to keep your eyes on it for a short over the next coming week or so. Here's USD, Swiss franc. Uh, I did give out a setup for this on my last review with an entry here and a stop below here. So if you guys did take advantage of that trade, um, taking it up, up into these moving averages, then well done to all of you. Here's US oil, currently in a long position. Got into that last night. Uh, if you take a look at the five minutes, here's how it played out. Quite a wide stop on this one. Um, but I was profitable already by three R and currently two R on my Aussie dollar trade. So I didn't mind having quite a wide stop on, on crude oil here. So, um, uh, entry here, 50, 58, 58 and currently up just over one R with my stop back down below 57.21 and I have moved my stop into a profit. So most likely we have got the oil inventories report happening tonight um, or tomorrow morning for you guys over. In Sorry, I lost the sound there. Sorry about that guys. Uh, the oil inventories report is coming out tonight um, or tomorrow over there in the US. Uh, so I definitely will be looking to straddle uh, that news event. But US oil, great, another great little trade. Um, looking to take this thing higher. And last but not least, we'll take a look at gold on the daily. We are just consolidating and creating a nice little value area right here. So we have got a high and a low. Most likely we will just consolidate here for a little bit. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we have got some really nice tweezers up here. So from here, guys, I am not currently in gold. I am looking to buy the dip. I am just waiting for a little bit more of a consolidation um, and a little bit more of an S curve. And then I'll look to take gold higher. That's all I've got for you today though, guys. I will, I'll be back on Thursday with another real life stock review. If you've got any tickers that you would like me to review, throw it in the comment section below and keep this in your diary, guys. I will leave a description in the, I'll leave a description, uh, a, I'll leave a link in the description box below. The uh, real life trading free week is coming up on the 22nd. So make sure you guys register if you want to see what we're all about. You want to make a little bit more money and um, come join us. There are a lot of people making a lot of money. I mean, all you got to do is take a look at the channels. Here's the futures. Here's the futures channel. Arabia making 11.5 R yesterday. Um, so congrats to her. But there is a lot of people making some great gains. We'd love to see you there. and. Um, have to lo love to help you guys and enrich your lives and hopefully trade with you guys in the future. So sign up, be there or be a triangle and I will see you guys soon. And remember love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.